Bear markets are scary. And when we're scared, we sometimes make bad decisions. A bear market is a fundamentally driven drop of approximately 20% or more over an extended period of time. Knowing how bear markets usually behave can help you make better investment decisions. As we explore these rules, we'll take a look at the 1973 to 74 bear market. While we will refer to these bear market principles as rules in this video, they're not rules per se. They're helpful guidelines for navigating a bear market. While the stock market can be volatile, it's up more often than it's not. So investors who need stock-like growth to reach their goals should be invested in stocks more often than not. In fact, avoiding stocks for fear of a bear market can be extremely risky. If you're wrong, you can miss out on returns you need for your goals. Because of this, we believe you should wait at least three months after a market peak before making major changes to your portfolio. This gives you a chance to pause, assess market fundamentals, and make sure you're not acting too soon. A bear market typically declines by about 2% per month from beginning to end. If the market has dropped much more or less than 2% per month since its peak, it's likely not a bear. Drops much sharper than 2% per month may indicate a correction. But even if you believe a sharp drop is part of a bear market, the 2% rule tells us there is often a market counter rally that can be a better time to sell. History shows bear markets usually begin with a slow rolling top rather than a steep decline. Typically, about one third of the decline occurs in the first two thirds of a bear market's duration. And, you guessed it, about two thirds of the decline usually occurs in the final third. Thanks to this slow start, you don't have to time it exactly right to still be able to sidestep significant losses. Dating back to 1946, bear markets have lasted an average of just 16 months. And very few have gone on for more than two years. So what does that mean for you? If you shift into a defensive investment strategy, you probably won't want to stay out of the market for more than 18 months. If you do, you may miss out on the sharp recovery that almost always kicks off the next bull market. Being able to identify what a bear market is not is just as important as understanding what it is. Let's take a look at how to tell a correction from a bear market. Corrections are short, sentiment-driven downturns of 10 to 20%, and they can be triggered by just about any false fear you can think of. Interest rate changes, small-scale trade disputes, you name it. Unlike bear markets, corrections are marked by strong economic fundamentals, despite market declines. In other words, there is no big wallop that can knock several trillion dollars off of global GDP. Corrections are also typically steep and sudden, unlike the rolling top that we see at the beginning of most bears. Corrections are a normal, although unpredictable, part of bull markets. Because they are sudden, short, and hard to predict, we believe you're better off riding through corrections and not making changes to your portfolio. Volatility is, unfortunately, a price you pay for participating in stocks' historically high long-term returns. Negative market volatility is never fun, but correctly identifying bear markets and corrections can help you mitigate their negative impact. Our four bear market rules can help you stay disciplined during challenging market conditions. If you have any further questions or want more information on how we view bear markets, please feel free to reach out to one of our qualified professionals or request one of our guides today. Thank you for watching.